So many people are looking for signs in their work and the signs that they're looking for are signs that they should contract, that they should stop, that they should forget about what they're doing rather than signs that they should progress, that they should move forward, that they should do more to achieve their goals. I have so many people will say to me, well, maybe this is a sign that I should cut back or maybe this is a sign that this isn't going to work or maybe this is a sign that I'm focused on the wrong thing. Usually what, what you're getting is a sign that you need to think bigger, that you need to uh, do more in order to achieve what you want. Maybe um, uh, you're, you're looking at this as a way out rather than a way up. So many people are doing this and I, and I see this in, in all the markets that I'm working in, whether it's um, financial services, whether it's luxury, whether it's helping entrepreneurs grow or organizations or associations, most people are just not calibrated to opportunity. They're looking for it out there. They're not looking for it in here. They're not focused on um, understanding the opportunities that exist. I have this thing that I call the, the opportunity dashboard. It's really three things. It consists of the existing opportunities in your life or in your business. It consists of the opportunities that are uh, coming in and the opportunities that are going out. Let me explain this to you. In every business and in every organization and in every career, there are existing opportunities. Most people don't realize that there are existing opportunities. Those are in your database. Those are in your product line. Those are in your experiences. Those are in your relationships. Those are in your advantages, very often in your disadvantages. They're in your personality. They're in your geography. They're in your client list, your experiences. These are all opportunities. And most people look at that as just water under the bridge or conditions that exist or things that are just that don't matter to them. You know, you might have excess capacity in your home. You might be geographically in a place that everybody wants to be in. Uh, you might be uh, any number of things that you just don't see as advantages. And it's, it's a shame, but many people have advantages that they just can't leverage because they don't see them. Uh, they're not calibrated to opportunity. Then there's the incoming uh, opportunities that we need to be aware of. And a lot of people are sensitive to that, particularly salespeople. They've got their sales pipeline, their funnel, and all that, and they have an understanding that those opportunities have to come in. But very often, those are the only things they see. And But even within that list, they may be completely unaware of the larger opportunity that might exist with some of those relationships because they're just not thinking big enough and broad enough and significant enough. Um, and then the third piece are, are the opportunities that are going out. And this is particularly important because most people are just not focused here at all. What kind of opportunities are you sharing with others? What are you doing for others? What are you sending to others? What are you alerting others to? How are you helping others expand their thinking and their, their ideas of what's possible for them and possible for their company? So the idea is to be aware of opportunities, not just in a narrow sense, what are, the, what are the things that are coming in that have been given to me or provided to me or that I've cut through uh, on and that I can capitalize on? But looking at this entire dashboard, this entire spectrum of opportunity. Um, and when you look at your entire spectrum of opportunity, you are no longer thinking of, wow, look at the, the, the reasons why I could contract and why I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing but you're looking at what are the reasons that I should be doing it? What are the reasons that I should be expanding? What are the reasons that I should be growing? If you're really in it for the long haul, whatever business you're in, uh, whatever you're focused on, uh, that's the name of the game. It's looking for ways to capitalize on every moment, every relationship, every opportunity, every situation, 
every circumstance and really blow that up into something that is beneficial for everyone involved, that enables you to spread your wings and do something in a bigger way. So I want you to think about that. I want you to think about that opportunity dashboard. It's what are the existing opportunities? I used to tell people that, that, that work for me, there's always great opportunity in walking distance. Sometimes you don't have to walk to find an opportunity. Sometimes it's uh, uh, closer than that, but there's always opportunity in walking distance. And your opportunities are not limited to what's on your pipeline, what's in your contact list, what deals you're trying to close, what kind of situations are surfacing that are obvious, what kind of uh, money has come in, what kind of contracts have been signed. Those are the obvious ones. But you have to think beyond that. What opportunities exist in uh, relationships you can stir up, people you can serve, things you can do that will stimulate more. I see people, um, uh, you know, I've often said this in families, they just don't see the opportunity in connecting with people in their own family. They don't see the opportunities in, in connecting with the tools and resources that they already have. Um, you know, I've, I've looked around and I've said, oh my goodness, I, I've written books that I haven't even released. I've, I've produced audios and videos that I haven't even released uh, because I'm focused on some other opportunity and not focused on you know, what's, what's there right in front of me. So, so think about that going forward. How can you really have full command of your opportunity dashboard and, um, and, and really do something with that in a big way?